I am Dr. Nanda Rajneesh. I am a laparoscopic surgeon and a bariatric surgeon in Apollo Spectra Hospital and Sakra World Hospital. In GARD, most often 90 to 95% of the patients, we treat them only with conservative treatment. That's not doing a surgery. Only 4 to 5% of the patients, we might have to do surgery. The reason we do surgery itself, you should remember, is when there is esophagitis and there are some changes, Barrett's esophagitis, grade 1, 2, 3, 4 or severe esophagitis and changes in the epithelial cells. That means the individual has already reached some kind of precancerous conditions. Other than this, when patient is very severely symptomatic and he is not able to be cured with any conservative treatment, that's when we consider surgery. So the results of the surgery depends on the selection of the patients. When we select and how we select the patients, that's very important. I have done quite a few surgeries in, uh, for the GERD and the results have been excellent because we have selected the patient by doing certain studies on these patients. So we have to study a pressure that difference that is there in the stomach and the esophagus. The pressure studies have to be done. We have to also study the acid levels in the stomach. We should also check for at least three to six months how they are doing with the conservative treatment or if there are already epithelial changes of the, the patients come very late that is when we do laparoscopic GRD surgery. So in GRD what exactly we do? We take the fundus of the stomach, wrap it around the esophagus, lower end of the esophagus and upper end of the stomach itself. With this the reflux of the acid that happens to the esophagus is reduced. What is most important even after surgery is the diet you follow. Never eat any foods that can bloat your stomach and form a gas and acidity and irritate your stomach. So because if you continue to increase eating a lot of large quantities of food at a time, the surgery that you have done wrapping around the esophagus also may give away because you are trying to stretch it by eating high, large quantities of food at a time. So the surgical success depends not only on selection of patients and type of surgery and also depends on how post-operatively patient is followed up and looked after. So GRD surgery is very successful when it is done for certain indicated patients.